Everton are plotting a move to sign West Ham defender Ben Johnson. That is, of course, according to several reports coming out from the media. Now, the manager, Sean Dyche, apparently has sanctioned a move for the 23-year-old, and he's a big admirer of his versatility in proven Premier League calibre. Now, Johnson, who we all know can play both right back, left back, has rejected, as it stands, currently a long-term West Ham contract extension last year with the current deal set to expire in the summer of 2024. Johnson has subsequently slipped down the picking order at the London Stadium and last started a league match late in October. He has made 16 appearances in all competitions for West Ham this season, but only six of those have been starts in the Premier League. And he has only ever played for West Ham since joining the academy back in two. 2007. After 11 years of rising through the ranks of the youth setup, Johnson was handed his first professional contract at the club from turning 18 years old. And he had to wait another year before making his Premier League debut when he started at left back in a 1 0 defeat against the reigning champions, Manchester City. He made a further three Premier League appearances in the 1920 season after becoming a regular part of the West Ham squad, making a further 34 appearances across the two seasons. However, the arrival of Vladimir Sufal and Emerson in recent seasons has limited opportunities for him at West Ham, and he has, as it stands, accepted a squad role within David Moyes' side. Now, we have heard that he has rejected contract from West Ham as it stands, but that doesn't mean he's definitely leaving the club. Now, listen, this is this is one that I'll hold my hands up. If he was to go, I would be heavily disappointed at this decision. So I'm hoping there's nothing in it. I'm hoping we don't have too much traction in it. But it's not for me if he does go. So fingers crossed this isn't one. But Sean Dykes will be wanting to come in here and move some of that financial money that he received for Anthony Gordon. So we do have to keep an eye on this one. But fingers crossed, because for me, I think we've actually lacked a bit of spirit in our defence on the right-hand side in particular, why not having Ben Johnson in the team? But this, and let me remind you, this is the first of many shows you're going to be seeing over the next couple of days related to transfer rumours and links. So we're going to bring you the rumours and then we're going to try and dissect them, see if we think there's going to be an element of truth in it. It's just one to watch. It's just one to watch, which I wouldn't be too happy about. Now, on top of that, we all know, since we've heard, that Conor Gallagher is subject to a bid from Everton as things stand. And apparently they're willing to pay £40 million plus £5 million of add-ons to sign the player permanently. And at this point, everything is on the table for Gallagher. And this is where the key element comes in. A loan or a permanent switch or even just simply staying at Chelsea. But a move away is reasonably likely for the player considering Chelsea are trying to complete a deal for the Benfica midfielder Enzo Fernandez, Newcastle Crystal Palace are longtime admirers of Gallagher, but Chelsea are not keen on loaning him to a club fighting in a similar league position. So maybe that could warrant West Ham going in there, considering our situation. And if the 22-year-old was loaned out, it's more likely to be a team in the bottom half of the league. So he has made 18 appearances in the top flight this season, scoring one goal and registering one assist. Will West Ham make a late offer to bring Conor Gallagher in loan? We know we've been some form of admirers of him over the last couple of windows, but he wanted to give his chance at Chelsea. So we will have to wait and see if this one grows arms and legs. It'll be down to the player as well as Chelsea. I'm telling you now, Chelsea may not want to sell this asset because fortunately they maybe want to push for more money. I think they want to keep him. I think Potter would like be keen to see what is he's capable of doing, but a stupid money move, maybe on the cards, I think he's more open to a loan option. It's just whether or not where he fits in, because he'll be wanting game time. So will he get game time at West Ham? Will he get game time at Newcastle? Who knows? Keep your eyes on that. Like I said, short, sharp transfer updates coming to you over the coming weeks, a uh, couple of days. So keep your eyes on the channel. If you're new around here, please make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Of course, join us for the Hammers headlines. And of course, come on, you irons.